Pat, it's Maximus here. This is just a short, quick little video, uh, kind of a public service announcement about my experience with cheaper uh, tempered glass screen protectors. Is uh, These are a couple of screen protectors I got off of eBay. Actually, this is a broken one. I actually broke in frustration. Uh, but there's a couple of uh, real big issues with these where they kind of, they missed the bus a little bit and it was due to trying to make it out of just such super thin glass. I mean, the big issues with these screen protectors is the glass is so magnificently thin. As one, it's surprising how much it'll bend before it breaks. But two, uh, because of that, they actually laminate both sides. You can't run your finger across and you can see the reflection of the plastic. Um, you can't run your finger across broken glass like that because they actually laminate both the bottom and the top side. So you don't actually get that sm really smooth feeling that you do from genuine glass. That's the whole purpose of genuine glass screen protectors, really, uh, is that you get that exact same low friction uh, touch action. And on these type of screen protectors, you don't. And But they are indeed true tempered glass, but it's sandwiched between two pieces of plastic. The other issue is they advertise them as being bubble free, and that's because they don't put glue anywhere on except for a little bit around the edges and some on the fingerprint sensor where it just doesn't work this happens to be for a galaxy s20 uh ultra i did want to point out how thin it is i just have an iq shield on this galaxy uh, s8 and if we can yes you can you can see how this screen protector has two pieces of plastic and glass and it's still far thinner than an iq shield and an iq shield is much thinner than a zag so these things are just paper thin. They double laminated them just to try to prevent micro cracks uh, in the glass. But of course, that outer plastic layer means it can be um, scratched very easily. So be very careful because some of a lot of those super cheap five dollar glass screen protectors, uh, even though they are glass, they are not what you expect. There's a lot of issues with the glue. It's with not having full surface glue, and that's one of those is that it doesn't bond and create uh, like a one piece optical layer so when you use the device it's um, nice and clean and clear let me uh, show you just a second here here we are so this is the screen protector on the s8 so the big issue is when you don't put glue across the whole bottom just now i'm recording with the phone i just uh, showed with it allowed in just the edges particles can get under there cause scratching issues the second issue as you can see just right where they put the little fingerprint gummy uh, glue that should have been across the whole surface and you can see this color difference that's because it's like a giant air bubble and you're getting a slight bit of reflection from the bottom of the screen protector and the top of the actual screen element and so it makes it harder to use it kind of floats on top so it doesn't register touches quite properly and of course, just being a little bit of adhesive around the edge, it's just you just catch it once and the whole thing just will pop right off. So they're just using such thin glass and then cheaping out by not putting glue on the whole surface. It's just a bit cheesy that they're advertising this as a genuine, uh, you know, tempered glass screen protector. And they're technically not lying, but this whole bubble free thing. And this was a second brand. I actually ordered a second one. That was also cheap and it turned out to be the same thing just from a different brand so these are those ones with the shatter proof and uh the transmittance no good the oleophobic coating isn't a like a molecularly thin coating it's just another sheet of plastic so you don't get that smooth friction but and the shatter proof is exactly that because it's double laminated so it's just cheesy that you're buying a no glue uh glass core screen protector for your phone and it's just you know it's basically a fraudulent product even though it, it does contain actual glass because i thought the whole thing was just plastic uh, and i got angry and i folded it and it actually shattered so that's the only way i even know that the, it really was glass and uh you'll, i'll just have to buy a higher quality unit uh to get around this issue but this is just a little public service announcement about this you may be buying one of those cheap glass uh tempered glass screen protectors and it may very well be uh, not what you're expecting not one that has a nice glue across the whole surface and uh, has a nice smooth touch because it actually is regular glass anyway I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing and if you haven't subscribed please do until next time Caddis Maximus out